Okay, so now I've um, found some icons that we can use um, to, to place here or to place with inside of these 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 boxes. Um, so let's um, get on it, shall we? Uh, let's come here and then get rid of all of this. And it's in our followers, it's in our tweet box toolbar here. There we created these four um, four elements, or these four boxes. So let's think about this. We need to have a a border because that's got this one then has the image and then a border and we have the image in the middle so and when we hover over it so we'll say div class and this is then um, tweet box tool bar button and that's going to have an image source in here which is then assets and then the first one would be media and the second one is gif gif here let's move this Third one is um, do not name that one. Oh yes, poll. Poll. Yep. And then the fourth one. Um, location. No, maybe. Location, where did I name it? Where did I name it? Bell home media pole smells place called it place. Fifth one, let's clean this up. And I've gone through and given them all a let's clean that up there. Clean that up there. Let's give this a bit of a refresh. Yeah, good. Okay, that gift one seems a bit small. Oh, okay, but the the color could be a slightly little bit lighter, um, but we're going to ignore that for the time being. It then needs to have uh, this hover states, and that's where we're then going to say in here and. We say border equals one pixel solid um, come to here do this. Yep. Not there anymore, maybe. Bring that down to right there. I don't know what that's going to be like, but we'll see. Okay, so it needs to have a bit of. Let's do a bit of margin first. Put it in the middle, and width equals 30 pixels, height equals 30 pixels as well. Okay, that's just on the hover, so we'll get this state ready and then we'll remove this and then the margin in the uh, sorry the, the border in the beginning we'll make white. Um, essentially we'll just make none. One pixel we'll put no colour but we'll give it a border. Uh, that hover needs to go, and yeah, that's okay. It's not doesn't look fantastic, but it needs to maybe be bigger. How big is the the 
box we've got 80 oh we can go massive so we go 60 height equals 60 and yeah that's the difference between it's not uh, we go 40 look okay, how that looks yeah that looks better 40 so now the only thing we've got to do is move this image into the center so i believe we can just say text align center here and possibly vertical align center and we just say that there as well okay no we want that like say 20. doesn't center it though okay margin mm -hmm. um. Okay, we'll get back to that because I sometimes get confused about how you do this. So, center image in div. So, like line image in center div. Mm -hmm. Vertical line, text line. Okay, we need to do it on the outer. So I was center, vertical line, middle. Let's remove that again. Come back to here. Now that definitely aligned it in the center. Didn't align it in the middle, but from there we can do a bit of margin. So margin top equals 10. That'll work. That's good. So now they all sit nicely. And that's why I said we need to um, toolbar area. That's why we need to have tweet box it says here. This here. And Want a background color, give it a border color, same color as the background. See now why? Because it doesn't move then, because it has the border already, and now it doesn't move. Okay, let's round these corners. Border radius, uh, so five pixels. Looks good. Okay, so that one's that's that one done. Yeah, okay. The the icon, the images colors could be a little bit better. And I'm kind of guessing that that tooltip is nothing more than. We'll see what it is when we have a look. What, does it have? It's silly sometimes. Class tooltip JS tooltip data original title. Okay, so I'm guessing that yeah, I'm not going to say that because that's that's yeah. Okay, let's moving on. Uh, we've done done that now. Now let's do the uh, next icon. We'll do the text that we've done there. Let's get rid of that one to clean that up. And I'm not really sure whether it's um, 
one break in space. Just good practice to do that. So now we want in where the three is uh, like a circle. <clears throat> so we'll put one circle. Oops. Span. What does it say? Span. And do a plus sign as well. So let's say <clears throat> circle is then uh, what, what size width box do we have here? Well, if they're 40, let's make it <clears throat> here. Let's, this box is 80. Let's make it 60, not 40. Make it 40, width equals 40 pixels, height equals 40 pixels, border, pixel solid, and use this color again. No, we want to use um, uh, where's this blues message input box? That one there. Plus where I was. Tool area. Where was I? Circle. There we are, right set for. Tweet box. Well, that's not where we want it. Oh, yes, it was. Okay. Let's go up there. And margin was 80, so we can do 20. We'll do 10 top and then auto. Auto. Yep. And we'll go to maybe three top. That's better. Let's give it rounded corners now. Border radius and third, oh, 20. Yes. Now let's give it the plus sign in the middle. Span. Um, Font size, give it 30 or 3 inch maybe. Text align center, line height equals 37. Way too big, or is it? Uh, a little bit smaller. So say maybe 2.5 color. Should be the same color as the border. We'll do font weights of four hundred, maybe. Yep. Text line center didn't work. Oh yeah, we want to. This definitely should be a P. Why not come to back here? It should be a P. Um, yeah, that's to do with the line height. Let's just give it no line height first of all. Hmm, that's weird. What's given that pattern? Circle. P font size, font weights. What's giving you so much margin?
Okay, so it was that. Okay, dump all margin. Yeah, now we can give it line height. So 37 and font size of 2.5 eums again. Those looking good, can go maybe 40. That's looking good, and then font weight maybe 300. Let's try 200. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. No, but anyway, remove font weight. No, okay, that's not doing anything, so we'll just leave it as it is. It works fine for me. Whoops. Next thing is then the tweet button. So this tweet button, we should really um, uh, yeah, we'll just copy the essentially this tweet button here. We should just say tweet button. But what size did we give that a particular size? Line height. Margin five, font size, position absolute. Okay, so its outer element needs to have. Okay, so let's tweet button. Tweet button wrapper. That's a class, David. Twitter is then position relative. And come back here again. And then from my understanding, we should be able to say tweet button. And put tweet in there and it worked okay but it because it said bottom on there that's not particularly what we want so we need to um, we put this in here Means then we can say position absolute. It's then here, height equals say 40 pixels. Height t is maybe 60 pixels. It's better. Yep. Mm. Um, yeah, it's not maybe the best of ways to do a button. So let's come over here and copy everything that's here and make a small tweet button. Margin five. Background, color, font size, text align, position absolute. Yep, but let's say zero, 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 zero line height, border radius, box shadow. Yes, that's good. Let's come in here and make it one of these. Yeah, that's okay. Because I said height 60, so we'll just change that height 60 to another height. So 40. Yep. 
that looks good. And maybe give it a bit of padding left and right. Margin um, left ten. Um, if in doubt, always give ten. Uh, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Ten text can be maybe a little bit bigger as well. Your maybe eight point five is good. Looking better. And we'll say five five. Yeah, I'm liking it. And maybe we'll just give it margin top as well five. Uh, yeah, that'll do. It's good. Oh, that plus button had a white background. Circle. It's background. Color equals white. There we go. And background. Hmm. Well, I know what. It's RGBA. And well, that's easy. 255. 255. 255 and then 0.3. Yes, I like that. Actually, let's give it a little bit more. Uh, six. Yeah, I like that better. That's good. These buttons hover nicely. And it's maybe, it's maybe too, yeah, this may be. Uh, is too tall this one so we'll make it the height of this button so this is then our row size is um, this one here toolbox toolbar area is then my tweet box here and that was line 36 Height forty percent. Well, let's let's bring this down. To thirty percent and then seventy. How does that work? Oh, that was not too bad actually. Probably can come down just a touch more. We've still got sixty. We've still got sixty, so we'll probably come down twenty-eight. Let's add two on here. Yeah, it's looking good. Going to keep it at that. Um, but the tweet button needs to come in also. Um, tweet button right, let's say. No, well, let's say zero, and this margin right. Just come in a little bit. That's good. Maybe another two. Uh, and then from the top can go. Three. That's better. Actually, you can go maybe fourteen from the right. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely it now. Okay, I mean it's not looking perfect, but it's not looking bad. So I'm with twenty-four minutes. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to stop this video short here. Well, it's not short. It's twenty-five minutes. It just takes forever for them to to process and upload and 25 minutes long enough for one video all right so let's um let's get this all saved so uh, git add git commit part 11
complete it. And git push. There we go. Right. There it's saved for you when you want to um, copy it. 